Really, Corey Kluber. Really. <sighs> the Rangers are just so bad. <laughs> What is going on guys it is evan here for the sports corner and i'm back in another video here on this channel and today i'm going to be talking about Corey kluber no hitting the rangers last night of course rangers are just really bad six no hitter of the mlb season which is crazy a lot of no hitters this year but you know this is crazy the rangers are just not having a good season and they get no hit again a couple weeks ago they got no hit by joe musgrove this week they get no hit by Corey Kluber and it's just a little frustrating because Corey Kluber actually was traded to the Texas Rangers last year some people don't know this or just don't remember because Corey Kluber played one inning for the Texas Rangers I'm not joking this guy played one game his first start he got injured he pitched one inning with this team he had a strikeout he did not give up a hit not a run one inning he didn't even last multiple innings with the Texas Rangers last year now, the Rangers did not really give up much. Reliever Emmanuel Classe and outfielder Delano De Shields, who actually is back on the Rangers. But <sighs> Corey Kluber didn't work out for the Rangers at all. It was very frustrating. And it was supposed to be a good hometown reunion. Corey Kluber is from Texas and was Klubot coming back to Texas. I was so excited when we made this trade. A lot of Rangers fans were. A lot of people thought this was going to be a steal. But Corey Kluber was on the market for a reason. Had a lot of injury problems. Now, Corey Kluber has been one of the best pitchers in baseball for a while now. He made an all-star game from 2016 to 2018. He won the Cy Young Award in 2014 to 2017. And he's also led the league in ERA win percentage with 818 win percentage in 2017. And he also led the league in ERA. It's a 2.25 ERA. He had an amazing 2017 season. And he's just been really good recently, but in 2019, he was limited because of his injuries. And then in 2020, the Rangers traded for him, hoping he would bounce back. And he did it at all. He pitched one inning, got injured, back on the shelf. And then in the offseason, the Yankees signed Corey Kluber. And you know how the Yankees are. They always sign these guys to these low-budget deals, and they get the best out of them. Works out with Corey Kluber, so far at least. He's doing a good job. His ERA is under three. He has a good win-loss record of four and two. And the Yankees get themselves a guy who can be a top-notch starter because he has been in the past before his injuries. It's really frustrating to see this because I wish Corey Kluber was like that for the Rangers. He is up there in age, so I don't think the Rangers got him to be a franchise player. That's certainly not the case. They were trying to do with Corey Kluber what they did with other pitchers that they've had like Lance Lynn and Mike Miner. They've been trying to build up trade value for these guys so that they can acquire prospects. They get these older pitchers, try to build up their value, have good seasons, Mike Miner, Lance Lynn, all-star appearances, Cy Young candidates, and then they trade them away and get better value. And they've been doing this for the past few years because they haven't been a good baseball team and one pitcher's not gonna help them be good, especially one who's older. So the Rangers do that to make these types of moves and get more prospects. I think that's what they were trying to do with Corey Kluber, but it backfired big time, and his trade value plummeted lower than it had been when Cleveland had him on the trade block. And it's sad, because if Corey Kluber had worked out, it would have been fun to watch Corey Kluber play. Wouldn't have helped the Rangers win many more games because they're just that bad. But, yeah, it did not work out at all, obviously. And, of course, he goes to the Yankees and throws a no-hitter against the Rangers yesterday, which is frustrating because... The Rangers get no hit once again, and it's just the way the Rangers have been playing this year. They're not a good baseball team, and they haven't been for almost five years now, so that's just really sad. And I don't like the Yankees. I want Corey Kluber to succeed. I don't want him to win the World Series, though. But, but in a way, it is good that Corey Kluber is on a competitive team. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to so the Mama Sports Sports Com like this. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.